So, I'm going to be doing a video talking about when defense started to become important in Dokkan. And I would like to first shout out my guy, Not Evan Close. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. He's the guy that makes the little uh, fan-made, like, OSTs. He's... Love him. He's just an absolute goat. Go check out his channel. His OSTs are just... Wow. Uh, we're going to have an OST playing in the background for this video today. Um, but anyways, this video was... Uh, pretty much brought into existence because I was talking to Evan about like, you know, different like types of metas. I believe that's what we were talking about. I think we were talking about, no, 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 no. I think we got to that topic because I was rambling on about like uh, <laughs> defense and, you know, offense and then a couple of things about uh, how the truth does his builds. We were talking about a bunch of like random stuff, like, you know, how people would do their builds. Personally, I don't give a damn about how you build your character. I'm an offense guy. I've said this a million times, but I do got to preface the fact that defense is meta, and I have acknowledged that. I've always acknowledged that. Just, <laughs> just to put that out there. Now, as I already said, today's video is going to be about when defense started to become important in Dokkan. And I was supposed to make this video yesterday, but I just... I didn't really, like... I didn't want to do it yesterday because I feel like the commentary for yesterday's video, because I already recorded it. I recorded it twice. I feel like it wasn't up to snuff. I didn't, I feel like I just didn't do good enough on commentary. And there will be some days where, and well, I wouldn't say now, but back then there were some days where I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I can't post this video because I don't like the commentary because I'm not a perfectionist, uh, but I just don't like sloppy content. I will say that. <laughs> Now, have I posted a couple of sloppy videos in uh, the past? I will say I have. I'm, I will be completely honest. I have. Uh, as a YouTuber, I mean, there are some YouTubers out there who are, like, they don't want any sort of sloppy content. And, like, uh, they do it, like, down to a T. And I absolutely respect those YouTubers. But me, myself, I have posted a couple of sloppy videos in the background. And I will admit that. Um, but anyways, uh... I pulled up this video today because I did make this basically a month ago. Uh, tomorrow will pretty much mark a month since this video has been out, but I'm just going to call it a month anyways. So this video I created last month is called What Was Dokkan's Worst Meta? And I created this really ugly graph. I mean, if you guys want to hear me talk about each and every one of these metas uh, in, in some good amount of detail, I think I spoke about it in detail, go ahead and check out this video. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I was supposed to make a video talking about what was Dokkan's best meta. I gotta get on that. No promises though. I'm, I'm gonna get to it, but I can't promise when I'm gonna get to it. Um, but with that being said, uh, yeah, I didn't do a video on it. Yeah, like this is like a reaction video to one of my old unit reviews, uh, topic dis discussion, uh, unit review, I think, uh, unit review also, I think, I don't know, good easy, a bad easy, I, I don't know. I don't know what this video was. <laughs> uh, news, 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 um, pretty much news also because this, this is the night of the data download, I believe. And this was a topic discussion. Uh, but, well, I would consider this news because it was for Dragon Ball Heroes. I'm getting off on a tangent. So, back on topic, I created this really, really ugly graph. So, we're not going to be, be looking at this graph. But what I will say before I go ahead and bring up my other graph is that I do think that defense started to become important when we hit the Legendary Goku event meta. And the reason why I say that is because stacking defense, like, I don't think, okay, how do I say this? I feel as if though, I feel like defense really started to become important when the legendary goku event came out and stacking defense was just like the just like the forefront of a unit it's like if you aren't one of these characters that are just shooting out ridiculous amounts of damage and blitzing ui goku around those two end phases of the uh, legendary goku event of course then i mean you're just not particularly that effect like you're not effective pretty much um Anyways, I did create a new graph, though. We're going to take a look at it in a second. Uh, I think it looks a lot better, to be honest. <laughs> now, 
Um, like I've already said, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and see me talk about each of these metas, I think in detail, I think I did, I don't remember, go ahead and check out this video. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this little graph that I made. I really gotta say, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I was supposed to upload this video yesterday, but I just wasn't, I, I feel like my commentary wasn't really up to snuff, because I recorded two videos yesterday, and I just felt like... I didn't like the commentary so if i didn't like the commentary and i wasn't like really feeling it yesterday i'm not gonna post a video because i only give you guys slop now have i posted some you know <laughs> you guys get the gist have i posted any bad like uh commentated videos in the past yes but you know obviously i'm not gonna say i haven't uh but yeah i think i've already spoken about that anyways um so what you guys see here this is like pretty much a better looking version of what i had before for my uh my little metas thing now i'm pretty certain that i am not the first person to create a metas graph i know there is no way in hell i'm the first person to do this um i'm also not gonna have this video be too long i'm just gonna keep it like less than 10 minutes so i don't really like waste you guys' time but um yeah as you guys see i'm not gonna explain all the metas but there it is <laughs> because I've already explained it in a past video. Um, I did put up a couple of uh, pictures beside it to like a, you know, how do I say? It's like an example of what it was like in that meta. So like for 2015 to 2017, you know, I am gonna explain it, fuck it. I'm not gonna explain it in detail though. For 2015 to 2017, the leader skill slash Doe kind of event meta, what I, what I call it, I don't know what other people call it, but that's what I call it. Uh, so of course, I do acknowledge that there were category leader skills to be continued. I mean, wait, continued? Released, excuse me. Oh my God. That was, <laughs> that was a to be continued. It was really tiny lettering, excuse me. But yeah, this to be released thing, I mean, I'm very, very, uh, um, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm messing up right now. I'm very uh, aware that category leader skills were out before battle road like for example str ultimate gohan i'm pretty sure he comes out in september of 2017 september around like september 1st i i think i think it was september 1st of 2017 i think i'm not gonna look that up uh but uh i put up super saiyan 4 gogeta and omega because i mean category leader skills i just put that there just because uh, because I have to acknowledge that there were category leaders goes back then. Uh, Quest, I mean, from what, like January 30th of 2015, all the way up until September, was it September 1st of 2015, when we get Broly's Dokkan event, probably the toughest Dokkan event of all time, probably. Uh, from Quest, in uh, the start of the game, basically, all the way up until the first Broly Dokkan event, that's pretty much what the toughest enemies were and then we get to this and then so on and so forth and dokkan events are pretty much the forefront of like uh difficult fights so to say and uh, of course i put up like a little monotyping team i mean this is what it was back then I mean, <laughs> a god leader and then of course this god leader is leading uh tech three key and 70 percent of the stats uh but yeah Anyways, uh, next meta, uh, 2017 to 2019, the category leader skill slash super bad road meta. I mean, I just left him up here because he came out, uh, Halloween? Was it Halloween of 2017? You came out a couple of days after bad road. I do remember that. I think you're a Halloween of 2017, unit, I think. Um, and of course, bad road because of course, bad road meta. And then someone complaining about bad road. I mean... Of all these metas here, guys, people have complained at least once, but um, I'm pretty certain that Bad Road was something that was very infuriating for players back then. Now, 2019 to 2020, I mean, Legendary Goku event meta, stacking units, I mean, come on, guys. Tech Trunks, AJLR Gohan, and of course, the Legendary Goku event. 2020 to 2021, the ESBR meta, probably, did I say my least favorite, what I say is my least favorite? Uh, was it my least favorite meta? I don't know if I said in a past video, anyone who like watches me, like watches like any, like, you know, all my videos, did I say that? Did I say this was my least favorite meta? I had, this shit was tough. I, I had more frustrations than e, in the ESBR meta than I did inside the bad road meta. I gotta say that. Certainly so. Yeah, maybe because I wasn't actively doing Battle Road as much as I was doing ESBR when it first came out. Bro, I was, bro, I woke up, 
I woke up to this, like, to Saiyan Day, I woke up to doing some, some bad road, uh, some ESBR stages, and of course, I put, uh, I put the ESBR banner, as well as STR Omega, um, super physical versus, oh, well, it's 10 minutes now in the video, but, yo, I always go off on the tangents, <laughs> I was trying to keep it short, it's gonna be definitely less than 20 minutes, I promise you guys, so, for, uh, I, I put the banner, and then I put, uh, who's that, Tech Raditz, and I put, uh, STR Omega, I feel as if those super physical, the first 10 stages of, um, ESBR, when it first came out, super physical was the easiest, like, stage, easily, because you had four passive attack debuffers, you had double str omega because you were running str omega plus the friends you had double str omega you had str perfect cells easy a and of course you had str rose i'm counting should i count the friend as another attack debuffer i i could that's you you have double str omega so that's two attack debuffers on separate rotations lowering the enemy's attack by 40 percent if i remember correctly and then with both the str omegas on each other rotation, you had STR Rose further lowering the enemy's attack by 20%, so as a 60% attack debuff on one rotation, and then STR Perfect Cell, if I remember correctly, I think, if I'm wrong, correct me down below, STR Perfect Cell, he was debuffing enemy attack by 20%, so on each rotation, provided you own the units, and I'm pretty sure this is correct, and of course, post EZA, uh, STR Omega, as well as uh, post EZA, STR Cell, and a pre EZA, STR Rose. On both rotations, that was, you was debuffing the enemy's attack by 60%. That's nasty. That's just, that's busted. I mean, come on now. That, that made that stage so free. Uh, I don't think there were any other easier stages than that. It just, that had to be the most freest stage of those 10 stages. If I, that's to my recollection. I felt as if though that was the easiest stage to me when, on the first 10 stages of ESBR. Oh, do keep in mind, I mentioned this a lot, but uh, Global not getting the first 10 stages of ESBR back in Saiyan Day of 2020, stupidest fucking decision ever. I just easily, stupid ass decision. Global had to wait till the part two of the worldwide down celebration of 2020 to get the first 10 stages of ESBR. Stupid as shit ever. I'll always, I'm always going to say that. Every time I look at the ESBR meta, that's one of the first things I think about is that. And of course, I brought, put up Tech Raditz because Tech Raditz, uh, king of ESBR on release. I mean, come on now. He's busted. And of course, I put HLUI not dodging and taking a million super attack to the face in ESBR. <laughs> so... Um, next meta, God Event meta, of course, you have these, these Revival slash uh, brand new Sparkling LRs, and of course the God Event. Uh, I feel like, hmm, because I saw someone nuke with the physical SSJ GT Goku. You were able to nuke in the God Event without nuking leaders. Hmm, because aren't you able to bring one item? I don't remember how many items you were able to bring, but you were able to bring... A nuking item <laughs> right <laughs> they don't disable nuking items for uh the god event or for any prior events i think um anyways uh and then of course you have the goat lr master roshi probably in the dokkan hall of fame as the is he easily one of the greatest free-to-play lrs to touch dokkan because uh there hasn't been a free-to-play lr a free-to-play headlining anniversary lr there hasn't been a single one to replicate Oh, replicate, replicate, <laughs> I'm way too passionate about this, there hasn't been a single free-to-play LR to replicate what Roshi has done in his meta, so we go ahead and skip a year later, right, we're in 2022, seventh year anniversary, we're getting off of using uh, Roshi, we love the free-to-play units, well, besides uh, uh, Krillin and 18, they suck ass, you're not going to convince me otherwise. But Tien and Roshi were pretty damn good. LR Master Roshi was pretty damn good. We go into the seven-year anniversary. What do we get? We get the... Who do we get? It's the Hybrid Saiyan Trio? Yeah, we get the Hybrid Saiyan Trio. They suck. What a shocker. They're pure stats. That is it. No guard, no damage reduction, no dodge. Okay. So, we get the Hybrid Saiyan Trio for the seven-year anniversary. They suck. Um, let's leave the Goat Master Roshi on the screen. So, 7th year anniversary, Hybrid Saiyan Trio, they suck balls. 8th uh, year anniversary, Bobbity sucks ass. 9th uh, year anniversary, we get Beerus? 
Beerus, right? Beerus... <sighs> Bro, you know what's crazy? I don't have a... When I use them, I... He, he's ass. You know what? He's ass. Let's just leave it. Beerus can hit hard though, but are you taking Beerus' damage? And I love damage, obviously, I'm a damage guy. Are you taking Beerus' damage over Master Roshi's utility? Hell no, you're not. <laughs> Hell no. Roshi at his time was better than the Hybrid Saiyan Trio, LR Bobbity, that stands by in the Majin Vegeta, and Beerus. I'm dying on that hill. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. 10th year anniversary, we have to get a free-to-play headlining LR that is, well, well is as strong as Roshi was on release. Okay. Anyways, uh, then we get to 2022 and uh, present, Red Zone, slash 200% leader skill meta, slash, I don't know, miscellaneous difficult content, defensive dodge meta. Uh, we're in the defensive, slash, Red Zone, 200% leader skill meta. That's basically what I'm just going to call this damn meta. Um, slash Brain Rot, if you want to say that. So, I put this into two parts. I, look at me explaining the entire damn thing. <laughs> it's not going to be longer than 20 minutes. It, it, I promise you guys. So, uh, first part, 200% leader skills, um, you have TUR 200% leader skills, and of course you have a Carnival LR 200% leader skills, so I just put those there just because they're both technically 200% leader skills. One that's a flat 200% boost, and then one that's split where you have to run two specific characters. We have to run one character that's on both of the categories. And of course you have Red Zone, introduced, 2022, and then this guy, stocks going down, 85% of the game dies. Okay. Then, um, we get past all this beautiful uh, stuff to come to Dokkan. We then have all of this. Now, going in order. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should have added one more event. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Anyways, going in order. We have Omega's event right it's sin then it's omega then we have uh, we have the dismal future red zone i should have added like you know um should have added 2022's uh for the worldwide down celebration the um wicked bloodline red zone but it's whatever so of course we have sin omega then we go into um zamasu um we get uh what else so cell max technically becomes he he comes before all of them but it's like Cell Max first stage, Cell Max second phase. Um, we have Sin, Omega. We have Zamasu, who is peak brain rot in the community. I will say one thing I want to say right now is that I do take back my comment on AoE normals being a brain rot thing for Dokkan to add as an artificial difficulty mechanic. I take that back because it's not fair if I continue to call AoE normals artificial difficulty since Dokkan's going to do that going forward. They're going to just continue to do that going forward, so why would I continue to call it artificial difficulty? It just seems bland and stupid and just, just doesn't make much sense for me to do that. So, whatever. Uh, because they're just going to keep adding bosses that raise their attack on super, and then their AoE normals are going to hit for like a bajillion damage. So, we have Sin, Omega, and, um, we have uh, Red Zone, Goku Black, Red Zone, uh, Zamasu, we have Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, we have the first and second stage of Cell Max, we have uh, the... What's that? The Sword of Hope Trunks hitting you for like 3 billion damage. And of course, we have the uh, some of the toughest sides in the game right now. Of course, that being uh, Beast and Gogeta. And then, of course, I got to fit in uh, Sword of Hope Trunks and then Cell Max. Uh, did I miss anybody? I probably missed somebody, but yeah. You you guys could just scream at the phone for me and say, Devin, you missed this one. Um, Anyways, what meta was where? And of course, it's got to go over 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> Let me get this out, out the way fast. When did defense start to become important? I'm going to give this a quick explanation. I think the legendary Goku event was when defense started to become important because stacking was a big, big deal. And people, in my opinion, I feel as if though people started to shift their focus on what a unit was doing defensively and how important that is to be implemented into in a difficult event such as the legendary Goku event. So outside of... Uh, that i would say i would say 2017 
2017 and 2019, that being his category of the year ago slash super bad for meta. Hmm. You can talk me into saying that this was when defense became important. Definitely. Especially with so many players being infuriated. But my counter argument to that would be you have uh, like, hmm. So my counter argument to that would be Dokkan releasing characters that are strong towards a specific difficult content, like Bad Road back during the time where it was, of course, at its peak, for example. Like STR Jiren, God for Bad Road. Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh my God, I can't think of any. From 2017 to 2019, Battle Road Gods. Oh my God, I can't think of any like other stronger options. Wow, and I've done so many interviews in the goddamn back. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna use STR Jiren as like the focal point of that example. But they do that for all metas. Yeah, I feel as if though, like stunning ceiling, like any sort of status procs was more important than a unit tank in a normal in Battle Road. Now, granted, granted, listen, before you guys raise your pitchforks, granted, I think that being able to take those attacks from these battle road enemies in slot one, well, slot one, slot two, slot three, without an item is very, very impressive. Most impressive in slot one, but also impressive too in the second and third slot. Good in slot two and slot three, if you're able to take a normal from a bad road enemy without an item inside of course slot one, two and three but very impressive if you're able to take a normal side at slot one for bad road yeah i would definitely say so but the thing is is that most times most of the time you were burning an item you were definitely these bad road stages these were no fucking joke i say that this is one of my least favorite metas bro this shit right here, I I didn't get to fully experience Battle Road. There's no way. I didn't get to fully experience Battle Road until around the time. I would say, when was I able to fully experience Battle Road? I would say, man, I wasn't able to fully do Battle Road until like my account became much more better. And that took about a year. Yeah, so like... I didn't get to fully experience it until like before the legendary Goku event medal was like ushered in like wait like about a, about some months off because I was I still wasn't able to beat battle road stages before the legendary Goku event meta came out yeah I wasn't yeah um you can talk me into this being where defense started to become important you can definitely talk me into it but my counter argument to that would be that Dokkan Definitely, and I can't think of any characters off the top of my head, but do, but outside of STR Jaren, Dokkan released characters, and they do this for all metas that combated this tough, difficult content. Yeah, and most of those characters, I'm pretty certain most of those characters were, hmm, were they defensive walls? I can't, I probably should have pulled up the timeline, but it's a-okay, it's a-okay. I'm not trying to have this video go on for too long. I think that... In my opinion, defense started to become important during the Legendary Goku event meta. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stacking defense. This is where people were really starting to bat their eye at defensive units. This meta. For shit sure. As for Battle Road, I feel like people are just complaining about it. Yeah, people are just complaining about it. People were doing nuking strategies. People were doing defensive strategies, funny enough, as in like a, like a double Android 13 attack debuffing leader, as well as a double Bodom a defensive leader. People were going defensive options, but it'll take so long to beat it. That still technically count as, that counts as a defensive, yeah. You can, yeah, you can talk to me about this. This is good. Yeah, you can definitely argue with me about this. Where defense started to become important. I, yeah, I would love to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> like with somebody that would just be so 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 interesting but yeah, i think lg was when it first started to become important for dokkan but you can definitely talk me into uh sbr being where it started to become important because these enemies hit like a damn freight now when it started to become like a focal talking point in the community lge in my opinion in my opinion maybe i haven't seen enough or haven't done enough research 
I've seen a lot of people complain about this damn mode. More complaining and now I have seen team builds. I've seen team builds. But okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little graph. Um let me know what you guys think down below. I, I gotta see what you guys think. This is this is an interesting topic, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh I should have Man, I wish I would have posted this video yesterday. Discord service down below in the description below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think I've already said that. <laughs> Shout out to not Evan Close, man. Shout out to my guy, Evan. Peace.